These equations represent the four different types of reactions that you will need to be able to identify. Sometimes it's easier to see the actual elements rather than the A's and B's and C's and D's that I show you in the notes. So let's look at what's actually happening here. We have in this first equation here C plus O2, so these are both separate things, and they come together to form one thing here. So this is like A plus B yields AB or C, if you wish. So we started with a couple of things and we ended with one thing. And whenever you're, you're making something new and, and going from one or two things, or two or three things sometimes, to just one, that's going to be synthesis. The next one, when you start to look at it, you'll realize you're starting with one thing. Yes, it's two elements, but they're all in one compound. And on the other side, they're separated. So you've broken them down into multiple pieces. When that happens, it's kind of the opposite of synthesis, which we call decomposition. This next one's pretty complicated. We have one compound here and another here. So you have two different compounds. And on the product side, they've kind of switched places. The K is now with the F, and the NA is now with the CL. So when they swap places like that, we call that double replacement. And then the last one we're looking at here, you have one by itself and one in a compound, or two different elements in a compound. And on the other side, on the product side, now the zinc is with the chlorine and the hydrogens by itself, even though it has a two. If you remember our diatomic molecules, I bring clay for our new house, they always exist with one atom bonded to another one of itself when you purify it. So we have zinc alone here, but hydrogen alone here. And then hydrogen and chlorine in the compound here, where on this side, on the product side, the zinc has replaced the hydrogen in the compound. This is single replacement. And those are the four reaction types that you need to know.